Okay, so the next color we're gonna make with our orange, coral, red, yellow kit is a bright coral. So just like with our other recipes, we start out with 10 mils of our polish base. So I'm just adding this here. And then for a coral, what makes a coral is going to be a combination of your red, your white, and your yellow. So using almost all of the different ingredients that we have in this kit, depending on the color coral that you want to achieve. So we have um, each of those colors in our red, yellow, and white liquid concentrate. And then we also have our um, corally red pigment. We have our bright orange pigment. We have our light gold. And then we have our pearl. So for my coral, I would like to make it opaque in two coats. I'd also like it to have um, a slight shimmer to it. So I am going to start with my pigment here as my first scoop. This is my base. This is the main color that I'm going for. Um, the deep color that we have um, with this will set the texture and the tint for our color. I'm gonna mix that up. And if you watched our last color from this kit, or our first color from this kit, um, I do like to add my pigment um, early on so that I can see how well it's mixed up. So you can kind of see what's mixed and what's not. And I know that this is still extremely translucent. I can clearly see the stir stick through the color that I have here. So I'm gonna go ahead and move along to my red. So I'm gonna add five drops of my red. And I know this is gonna change the um, opacity of my polish. And the opacity level that it changes does differ between liquid concentrates. So the white is the most opaque, the yellow is the least, and the red falls somewhere in between. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one of our yellow drops so that we can see what it's going to do to this bright red color. You can see that Right now it's still very bright red. This is the first time I'm using the yellow from this kit, so I'm gonna remove um, that little piece there to make sure it doesn't fall on my polish. I'm gonna use one drop of the yellow. And I know from my color guide, this is what's gonna take me to an orange or a coral, is by combining red and yellow. The more red and white, the more coral you're gonna go. The more yellow, the brighter orange you're gonna get. So you can kind of see that there. So I'm gonna add one drop of white. And that is looking more towards the color that I'm going after but I do wanna make sure that I have just a little bit of a shimmer to this, so I am going to add one scoop of the pearl. I love this pearl. It does um, change the opacity just slightly. I'm gonna add one full scoop, and then I'm gonna play with the color mixing after I add this. So you can kinda of see what's going on there and I can see how clearly I can mix it. Depending on which one of these colors that you're using, as with all of our kits, the texture changes quite a bit, and some of them mix much easier than others. So that's kinda, it's still very red. I'm gonna add my white because I wanna start to make it a little bit more opaque and a little bit more corally. Again, if I'm not achieving the color or it's not headed in the direction that I want, I can make adjustments as I go. It's only nail polish, it's easily fixable. We 
if you it's too red, you can lighten it. If you want it more orange, you can add yellow. If you want it darker, you can add the red. Just depends on what you want. So that's more of like an orange sherbet, which I really, really like. It's not the color that I'm going for right now, um, but we will be making a color like that soon. So I'd like it to be brighter. So now I'm gonna go back to my red. I'm gonna add two drops. And I would normally be um, completing my recipe card um, while I'm going, but to speed things along uh, for this video, we're just going step by step. And we recommend um, keeping tabs of your recipe with tally marks. So I'm liking that. It's a little bit darker. I want it to be a little more dark and a little bit more coral. So I'm gonna add three more drops of the red. And then I'm gonna want this a little bit more on the orange side. So I'm gonna start to add the yellow concentrate, but I wanna be careful because I don't want it too orange. I still want it coral. So I'm just gonna add them one at a time. Is it quite hard enough? And that's really starting to look like what I wanted. So I'm going to do two more drops of the yellow. So that it's still a corally color without being bright orange. And that's the exact color I was going for. Looks fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and bottle this. Again, when we're filling our bottle, we fill up the funnel 75% of the way up, and then we let all of the liquid fall down into the bottle. And then once that happens, we do that process again, and that's to keep us from overflowing the bottle. And you wanna fill it until it gets right up to the shoulder of the bottle, not the neck, the shoulder. And that's important because if you go too much past the shoulder, you could overflow your polish once you add the brush in it. That looks good. I'm gonna stop that. And then this is our corally pearl color here. You can see that. 